Hey gang, today we are doing an ice cream. This is a set I did, I think it's years ago now. Um, we're going to do the ice cream from there because ice cream. So, yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Um, this is, I did two coats of brandy snack for the bottom of the cone. Um, I forgot to press record when doing the first coat. You'd think that would be high on my list of things to do when filming a video. <laughs> press record! Um, so that's brandy snap that was cured and this is iced mocha I'm doing some diagonal lines um, cause it's gonna be a waffle cone didn't look at a picture of a waffle cone when I did this probably should have um, so I've now mixed some ice mocha and base coat the first base and I'm just doing some shading I guess um, I hadn't cured the initial lines that we did when I did that um, I like I say, I wasn't looking at a picture of a waffle cone, but I just thought, let's give it some shading. Let's, I'm just making up where it would be. <laughs> uh, and these are, so exactly the same thing, just going in the other direction. Um, and then I realized things were getting a bit dark. So I've grabbed butterscotch and I'm going to give it some highlights, I guess. Um, just down the left hand side of each of those squares that we've done and along the bottom I mean do they have do they look like that I don't know in my head that's what they look like I probably shouldn't have gone into too much detail though because the actual ice cream part of it is kind of cartoony so it's kind of a, a juxtaposition of um attempted detailed cone it's not that anyway I'll stop talking about the fucking cone finished that ages ago um this is bubble gum I am mapping out where I'm going to put the drips um, and then at the top I've just faded it up not a lot but just thinned it out towards the top because we're going to put another colour there um, so now I'm just making the drips a bit more drippy when you're doing drips um, make sure that where it joins whatever they may be coming from so in this case ice cream um, or if it's you know if you're doing paint drips or blood drips or whatever I did blood drips for vampire day vampire day the fuck is vampire day halloween <laughs> um halloween once um just make sure that whatever it's dripping from be the paint the ice cream the the blood that where it joins the the bulk of it at the top it is curved you haven't got like a straight line of ice cream and then just a straight line of a drip coming down you want it sort of um drippy <laughs> Um, so that had two coats because I didn't want to see through to the um, cone and now this is Miss Sunshine is it Miss Sunshine yes it is um, and then just doing exactly the same and I do 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 and I do do two coats do do um, of this as well but I don't think I filmed it because it's just the same thing so that the most you have more room to do drips above like directly above the other drips but i didn't want it to look too uniform there's nothing uniform about melting ice cream oh i want ice cream um so although last time i had ice cream threw it up so maybe i don't want ice cream um so yes that had two coats and then in some of them between the drips i sort of brought those down in a drippy like state as well um, and then this is um, this is ice mocha again, so the same that we used for the um, lines on the cone. Um, in the one that I did at the picture I showed you at the beginning, there was a white section as well, and it really brightened it all up. Um, I decided to leave it out because there wasn't really much room for it, um, but I'm kind of regretting that because it it has made everything a lot like a lot darker. It did look more bright and vibrant with the white in but too late i've done it now never mind and now i'm just outlining the drips in black blackout um all gel perfection uh polishes so i flash cured once i'd outlined the pink i pink i flashed that for 10 seconds and then same with the yellow um and then once i've done the top bit here that had a full cure so it's supposed to be like a Neapolitan ice cream, you know, the strawberry, vanilla and chocolate. I haven't had that since I was really little. We used to have that 
Um, I think that must be like a kid's thing. I don't know if any adult has recently eaten Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> so I'm adding some hundreds and thousands now. I'm leaving a gap at the top for um, whatever we're going to do there. But I'll tell you a bit. We'll get there. Um, so I'm doing some hundreds of thousands. I'm doing them all in white at first. And I do kind of wish I'd kept kept them in white because it did brighten it up. It's kind of looking like a Simpsons donut at the moment, which is um, kind of cool. Um, but I went over some of them. Bought in blue, that is boarding pass. And then did some, some in yellow and some in pink. Um, obviously not doing pink on pink or yellow on yellow because you won't see it. Um, so did the white first just so that um, the colour, the pink and the yellow and the blue would be um, true to their colour. And okay, so once I've done this, um, obviously cure that, get on with it. I'm normally running behind, now I'm ahead. Um, so I cured that and I'm top coating. If this was on a person, I would be doing this differently. Um, I would be putting the crystal in um, in the wet top coat or I'd be gluing it on or using builder gel or something but it's not a person so um, I did the top coat and then stuck that on with more top coat because it's not doesn't have to deal with day-to-day -day life this nail um, so that's a red cyan crystal from diamond glitters I hope you like this thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one oh subscribe for more if you want to okay see you later bye